Welcome. So for this problem, what I want to do is I want to evaluate for sine, cosine, and tangent of 300 degrees. And to evaluate for sine, cosine, and tangent, uh, well, we could do this by using the unit circle, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use reference angles to help us determine these values. Now, the main important thing is we still need to know what quadrant 300 degrees is, because I know probably you um, have been looking into you know, memorizing the unit circle, and a lot of times it becomes cumbersome, and it's like, oh, I forget this and where else. But the main important thing is if we can determine and remember where, which quadrant our angle is in, and then just use reference angles to find actually uh, the reference angle, we can just evaluate the reference angle to evaluate our sine, cosine, and tangent. So the first thing I need to do is determine where is 300 degrees. So I'll just kind of draw a quadrant here, and remember we're gonna. This is gonna be a, a, a that, that, yeah. This is gonna be an angle in standard form where we're gonna have our initial side here. So if we had 90 degrees, 180 degrees, to 70 degrees, and then we have 360 degrees. So therefore, if I'm drawing my angle 300 degrees in the counterclockwise direction, it's probably going to give me an angle roughly right around here. So I know that's going to be in the fourth quadrant. And why it's so important for us to know that's in the fourth quadrant is we know that the x value is going to be positive and the y value is going to be negative. Now the next thing I need to do is determine what is that coordinate point that would be on the unit circle that's going to relate to 300 degrees. Now if you memorize the unit circle, you could probably quickly figure it out, but if you kind of forgot the unit circle, hopefully you at least remember the first quadrant because we still need to know that for our reference angles. So the first thing is, since this is in the, um, the fourth quadrant, I can use my formula to find the reference angle for any angle in the fourth quadrant. And, the reference ang and to find the reference angle, you're going to take 360 degrees minus theta. Well, theta in this case is going to be 300 degrees. So therefore, I have 360 degrees minus 300, where my reference angle, the acute angle for my terminal side to my um, horizontal axis is going to give me, not 300, 60 degrees. So therefore, I need to understand, well, what is the sine, cosine, and tangent for a point at 60 degrees? So again, I'm going to kind of go back and try to remember back up to 60 degrees. Well, at 60 degrees, if I was going to be looking at my unit circle, remember we kind of dealt with three points, main points in the unit circle. We had 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and at 60 degrees. And if you can at least remember that first quadrant of the unit circle, it's going to really help you out because the first, this point at 60 degrees is going to be uh, 1 half comma square root of 3 divided by 2. So therefore, now to evaluate for the sine and cosine, now remember, real quick, before we do sine and cosine, remember that we're to actually not, we're using the reference angle to find our value of our um, functions, but we also got to remember it's in the fourth quadrant. So therefore, my y value is going to be negative. So therefore, to, sine, to find the value of sine, cosine, and tangent, what I need to do is remember how do sine, cosine, and tangent represent a point on the unit circle. Well, remember the sine represents the y-coordinate, cosine the x-coordinate, and tangent the y over x-coordinate. So in this case, we have sine y-coordinate, which is the square root of 3 over 2. But remember, we're dealing with the angle of 300 degrees where y is negative. So therefore, this angle is going to be negative, or I'm sorry, this coordinate point will be negative. The cosine is going to be positive, which will be 1 half. And then for the tangent, I have square root of 3 divided by 2 divided by 1 half. And of course, again, that is also going to be negative as the y coordinate is negative. Now I just need to simplify this, so I'll multiply by my reciprocal on top and bottom, and therefore I get a negative square root of 3 for tangent. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you use reference angles to evaluate for sine, cosine, and tangent. Thanks.